Today we will be talking about the penny stock, Amidas. Let's get into the video. Hey everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Just a little disclaimer before we start, um, remember that these stocks can go down. Most of these are long-term plays. These are not day trades or swing trades. These are all usually uh, long-term holds for us. Um, and these are stocks that we put a heavy amount of research into and believe in long-term. So don't be disappointed when they don't go up in the short term, um, especially when you made the decision to buy. We're not telling you to buy this. You made the decision to buy. And right before I talk about Aminas, I'd like to ask you guys to comment your favorite stock in the comments below. Um, and smash the like button as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Amidas is a renewable fuels and biochemicals company that wants to replace petroleum-based products. They are working towards a zero carbon future, which they hope to be at the forefront of. A stock that Amidas can be compared to would be ticker symbol GEVO or GEVO. The same stock that has gone from $3 to $11 and we actually put in one of our videos uh, when it was actually $6. So it's almost gone up 100% since it was in one of my videos. Renewable fuels is going to be a surging market, especially with Joe Biden being in office, as that was one of his main talking points when running for president. Amidas is located in Silicon Valley, which is home to a lot of successful companies. No, seriously, if you run a company in Silicon Valley, it's bound to succeed. They have a market cap of about 148 million, so all it will take is for a few institutions to get in there with some big money to double the stock's price. They even recently got a contract over the weekend for $16.8 million to expand their advanced technology to a city in California for a test run. They will also have the world's first carbon one plant, which means they'll be a market leader in this sector. Another thing to point out is that Elon Musk said in a tweet that he would give $100 million to the best carbon capture technology, which is exactly what this company is. If he does do this, the stock would at least double overnight. Now that's not really a reason to get into the stock, but that is an upcoming catalyst that could possibly happen, so something to keep in your mind when thinking about investing in this stock. As for a price target in this stock, I'm gonna give it a price target of about $15 by the end of the year, um, and that's how long I'll be holding, at least one year. One for tax purposes, and then two, we gotta give the company time to progress under the Joe Biden administration. But if you are interested in the stock and you have not made a Webull account yet, um, that's the thing that a lot of people have been doing. They've been switching from Robinhood to Webull. Um, if you haven't made that switch yet, Robinhood is on its way down. You gotta get into Webull so you can trade in the pre-market and the after hours. Um, but if you click the first link in the description, you can get four free stocks that can be valued all the way up to $3,700. Now for comment of the day, y'all comment and I'll pick one of your comments for comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is going to be coming from Viral, and he said, uh, Nokia is dead, started today at 560 and closed 469. Thanks for the comment, Viral. I don't know if I said your name wrong. Correct me in the comments if I did. Um, but I just wanted to say, because Robinhood stopped trading on Nokia, that is why it went down, because it only left the Robinhood users with the option to sell, so a lot of people got scared and just sold off. Um, but if they do allow trading on that again, Nokia can go right back up. Uh, if they don't allow trading on that, then yeah, maybe you should get out of the stock. But none of this is financial advice. I'm not going to tell you how to run your financials if you're not going to tell me how to run mine. Um, and I'm not a financial advisor or a professional by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, so if you do want real financial advice, make sure you go to a real financial advisor and not me. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys could please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it shows that you're with us on this journey. Um, and yeah, let's get this bread. We're not financial advisors. Um, but that's all I got to say. And my name is Zach and I'll see you in the next video.